have ourselves an entry. Let her rip, tater chip. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. <laughs> oh, my God. I blame Carol Baskins. I couldn't resist. That's what happens when you're in quarantine. You watch stupid crap like Tiger King. Anywho, today we got to do some cleanup. As you can see, if you'll notice, we got junk, we got downed limbs, we got all this stuff. We've cleaned this up before, but guess what? Keeps raining, more storms, yay us. And I think probably, probably tomorrow, these guys totally gonna go on a cattle drive. It's gonna be awesome. Stick around. I lied, because I don't know if you can hear this. That's rain. It's raining again. It literally went from sun and 70 to 60 and raining in 45 seconds flat. Thanks, Texas. You rock. So what's the game plan? What am I gonna do? Well, as you can see behind me, shop is a disaster. You know why? Because I haven't cleaned it up. No other excuse. It's trashed. So, I guess to start with, we're going to work in here today. Yay! So this is fun. This is... Make sure you look right here. I'm terrible at it. See, I'm looking right over there right now. I'm horrible at this. So, as you can hear, it's raining now and it's actually getting a little sketch because we've got some pretty serious lightning and the thunder's really loud. I'm kind of scared of that. I don't care for it. Cows, they're, they don't care. They're just mooing at me because they won't cube. And Ryder Lee, <laughs> Oh, right early, he, he doesn't seem to care either. So what we're going to do right now, because we can't really step outside to get the trailer and load up our trash, um, we're going to shuffle a couple of things around and hopefully make a little bit of room to maybe shuffle some more things around. Make sense? Right on. Let's do this. That's pale. I'm pretty sure you're right. So we're back. We're back in the house. Uh, as you'll see, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can get a. A picture of the weather map up there without doxing myself completely but there's a uh, we already went through hail and and you saw it was pretty bad lots of rain but it was quick there is another band coming right behind that and uh, I felt perhaps we shouldn't be in a metal building and take two you'll notice around me this is a hoarders lifestyle I've got all sorts of disgustingness just everywhere. You know why? Because I'm, I've been too lazy to actually pick stuff up. I've been so covered up with work, it, that's, that's what I'm gonna tell myself, that I just hadn't been able to make it out here and taking care of my family and, and that's not true at all. I've just been lazy. And now it's time for me to come out here and pay the popper and get everything picked up and right back where it should be and keep everything organized. So, we're gonna do this later. Step one, we're gonna do, we're actually gonna be doing a cattle drive this evening. Cattle drive. I gotta go check the fence up front, make sure it's good to go because we're gonna walk the cows to the front pasture today. Now I'm no specialized fence engineer, but I think that's supposed to be on that post and it's probably why all these lines are sagging couple things you're going to want to pay attention to after you've 
not messed with a fence for a little bit. You see these big woody stem bastards? You don't want to come through here. Pop these guys out. Make sure that they're not up on your fence line. Alright, let's just because they will ground it out. Now, some out here in the west pasture. I'm not going to show you the whole of it because, well, I don't really want to announce to the world where I live. Hmm. But what I will show you is look at all this grass. So when we moved in here, this was a dirt field. I was literally pulling blocks, engine blocks, not like wood blocks, engine blocks out of this pasture. I've broken my shredder twice out here, okay? I finally got it beyond that point. I have tons of good, thick Bermuda. I'm starting to get that nice little undergrowth there. All that stuff is really, really good because that stuff breaks down, feeds the soil, and you end up with all this really good grass cows love that really good grass and if they're eating that really good grass they're not eating really good hay which costs really good money and I will be the first to tell you electric perimeter fence at least the way that I've got it set up is not the best solution but it is the solution that at the time I could afford now as I told you in video two videos ago uh, we will be doing welded pipe fence up here The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get this off of here so I can start funneling used oil in. It should be easy. Famous last words, right? Let that drain for a little bit. Then we'll move it. Now, oh, look who showed us up. Look who showed up. What are you guys planning on doing today? Whatever you tell us to. Oh, look who is coming. Look out, honey. Trail boss has arrived. Huh. <laughs> I'm gonna um make sure um um that Shaywin gets close enough and um so you're gonna see what I, what's gonna happen.
love it when stuff is that easy. And this is about 45.6. Yeah, for sure. All right, keep dragging. Mom, can you almost have a, a little help? Now, something else I need to do is I'm going to cut the top out of this so I have a place to put my electric rods. Because right now, they're just living in the bucket of my tractor, and that is not a good spot for them because basically what I do is I just dump them out anywhere I end up and I lose clips and that costs money. Whoops. So now I'm going to cut this apart. There we go. I believe that should get it done. Kind of keep them all in one place and not in the bucket of my tractor. And I think Right there, right behind where Ryder Lee is standing. I think that's a good spot for him. What do you think, bud? Okay. Okay, some of the best advice I've heard is pick a spot and start working there, finish that, move on to the next task. This was my first task. I now have most of my reels hung up and at least reasonably uh, organized. Now, I also, you'll notice right here, I've got all my uh, electric rods put into a place. So now, as you can see, we got Ryder Lee down here. Uh, where yet? There he is. Doing a little sweeping. You know, doing a fine job of it. We got Mama E over there. She was hauling sticks like a boss. And next on the agenda, this awful table. It's, it's terrible. Let me get that picked up. Looky there. Well, that's all done. Put this over here in the oil and grease section. You know, because I've got one of those, I guess. Look at that. That's a clean table. I feel good about it. Okay. We're going to put this on hold for a minute. Because now it's time for me to go in and do some cooking. Smoker's warming up. I need to go get the chicken doctored up, and then we're gonna enjoy a nice, uh, nice Easter meal. Three, four, five. Oh, my bad. A one and two and a three, four, five. Deep in the heart of Texas, the stars are bright, bright, are big and bright. bright. Deep in the heart. Reminds me of, of the one I love, deep in the heart.